Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Today I'm going to be working on this cute little wooden pineapple tray that I found at Hobby Lobby. In fact, I found a couple of these at Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to be making a couple more. But for this particular one, I want to use this Bling It Champagne Pearl Moon Rocks. And these are just little slices of mica and um, Tammy Anderson did a MDF board um, not too long ago using this and it was in the shape of a pineapple so I want to try it see how it turns out I'm going to be using the Mod Podge to add it to the tray and then at the top I want to use this chunky green glitter it's got just a little bit of, hint of gold in it so I think it will really all come together um, once I start adding the colors to the resin and to the sides. So I'm just taking the sponge brush and I'm layering these mica chips on here one roll at a time. Um, that's for two reasons. One, I didn't want the mica to just be on here haphazardly. I just want it to look like the rose like it does on a pineapple skin and then the other was because this Mod Podge dries out pretty fast so, um, so I'm gonna put a second layer of these mica chips on here also um, anywhere I see the tray underneath um, I'm just gonna lay another layer of the chips on there make sure that the edges are covered really good this isn't hard to do at all and there will be a description of everything I use below in the description box and then up here we're ready to put the um, glitter so once again I'm just putting the Mod Podge on here with this sponge brush and I'm trying to be very careful so that it doesn't go over the edge because I actually want to paint the edges and then come back and when I resin allow the resin to go over the sides and I'm really pouring this glitter on pretty heavy handedly um, I want to make sure that I get a really good covering of the glitter and I can always I, I've put a, another uh, sheet of parchment underneath this top part just specifically so that when I'm done with adding the um, glitter I can tap it off the excess off and then uh, put it back in the container for a project for next time but I want to make sure that every single place on the surface of this top is coated with the glitter because I don't want it to be any bare spots of wood when I get ready to um, put the resin on and so I'm tapping it down gently and trying to make sure that the glitter is making good contact with the Mod Podge. And then I'm taking my finger and, and brushing the edges off so that there is um, nothing there to catch the resin and maybe make a little rough spot. I'll probably have to put a couple layers of resin on this because um, the mica chips and the glitter will probably be above the first layer of resin because it's pretty thick. So I'm just defining the edges here by making sure that it's all pushed back and, and uh, tapped down along the edge where the glitter meets the mica chips. And then I'm going to let this set overnight and allow it to dry. 
and then we'll come back and um, I want to paint the sides of it um, the top of it green and the bottom of it a uh, kind of a yellowy gold sort of what a pineapple skin might would look like when they are ripened and then we'll add um, color to the resin and then put it on the top so I think this is going to turn out cute <laughs> so if y'all have um, not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that now and ring that bell so that when I upload part two of this video you'll get notified and um, please click like and share you help my channel grow when you do that and I really really appreciate it and I want to thank you for watching this and I hope to see you next time in my next creative escapade bye bye for now